Ahoy, you scurvy, freaking beautiful, bloodthirsty pirates. My name is Hippo TC, and in this video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about the brand new Sea of Thieves Adventure Lost Sands, including the location of all those pesky journals. Let's jump right in. The new adventure Lost Sands is here, and with this adventure, we are presented with a choice, the Hunter's Path or the Servant's Path. This represents the first time we as a community get to decide the future of the seas. Do we save Golden Sands or do we let the Reapers burn it to the ground? This is what this adventure is all about. To kickstart this adventure, all you have to do is talk to Lorena as well as she has a favor to ask. When talking with her, you will be faced with your choice. Do you go with the Hunter's Path that will lead you to Merrick at Golden Sands and attempt to get them supplies to rebuild? Or do you pick the Servant's Path, which will lead you to Wanderer's Refuge and teaming up with a Servant of Flame in burning down Golden Sands to the ground? Each path is pretty straightforward. Let's first talk about the Hunter's Path. Like I mentioned, this takes you to Golden Sands to talk to Merrick. Once you talk to Merrick, he will share that a few of the Golden Sands residents set out to get supplies to help rebuild the outpost, and they have not been back yet. Well, that is where you come in. The first island you will head to will be Cannon Cove, where you will find Tina on the southernmost part of the island. There, she will give you a treasure map that will lead you to some buried supplies. Take those supplies back to your ship in perfect condition for an extra deed to be completed on your adventure. After that, you will head over to Smuggler's Bay, and on the southwest beach, you will find Sharon, who also has happens to have a map for you to dig up some buried supplies. Once you dig it up, you will take it to your ship and do this again in perfect condition, and head over to Merrick to turn the supplies in, and this will then complete the Hunter's Path part of the adventure. The other path, the Servant's Path, is a little bit more fun and way better. The Servant's Path is pretty similar in that you need to do is head over to Wanderer's Refuge, talk to the Servant of Flame. He will then tell you to head over to Reaper's Hideout for the next phase of your adventure. Once there, you will equip you with a compass and a fancy smancy new Reaper rowboat that will have a keg attached to the back. You're going to take that rowboat and row that over to Twin Groves to kind of complete the next part of the adventure. Follow the compass to the Reaper's NPC who will give you a special cache. Take that cache to your ship, follow the compass to Cannon Cove, and the next Reaper NPC where you will turn this new special cache in. After this is completed, all you need to do is take this beautiful new rowboat all the way to Golden Sands, park it on the island, and blow that thing to smithereens. This will complete the Servant's Path part of the adventure. Now this is where things get interesting. The more robots that get blown up on the outpost push the Reaper's path ahead and we will forever have Golden Sands burned to the ground. However, if there are more supplies delivered successfully to Merrick, that will push the Hunter's path ahead and we will get Golden Sands restored. The choice is ours as a community. I know what I will be choosing and it doesn't involve getting the same outpost we've had forever restored. I wanna see something new. Now quickly, let's cover the location of all the journals as yes, there are journals for both the Hunter's Path and the Servant's Path. These can be a bit tricky to find, so to make it easy, I've done all the hard work for you already. First, let's talk about the Hunter's Path journal locations. The first journal can be found at Steven Spoils, located next to the shop's entrance at the Sea Post, right here on the left. The second journal can be found at Golden Sands on the eastern side of the outpost next to the dock that leads to the tavern, straight south of the water tower. The third journal is located at Cannon Cove on the beach near the main dock on a rock in the bay. And the final journal can be located at Smuggler's Bay on the eastern beach close to the bell by a small netted structure. Now for the Servant's Path journal locations, the first journal can be located at Wander's Refuge next to the entrance of Wander's Workshop. The second journal is located at the Reaper's Hideout on the south side of the island under the cannon tower on these wooden planks.
The third journal is at Twin Grove, next to the rock on the ground on the larger half of the island. And the final journal is located at Cannon Cove in the bay on the beach next to a crate near the fire pit in the bay. And yes, before you ask, you can get all of these journals at the same time. So if you are on Cannon Cove, make sure to get both of the journals there and you can kind of set up a path to get all of these journals in one shot so you don't have to go back and kind of get this back and forth thing done. And there you go. These are all locations of the journals and how you complete the new Sea of Thieves adventure, Lost Sands. What side are you choosing? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, if we decide to burn golden sands to the ground forever, what would Rare build in its place? We need another outpost in the southwestern part of the map. Maybe we get something brand new? Who knows? Who knows? I say burn it to the ground and let's see what happens. What side are you on?